Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. Happy Sunday, dude. It's the day of rest. Time to chill out and get all that junk off your chest. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> That's right. I'm totes right, dude. We got a super special training episode coming your way today. It may be the day of rest, but not for these two Siberian Huskaroni pizzas, because today we're going to teach you how to teach any dog, especially a Siberian Husky, how to heal. Now, some of you at home might be like, Wait, what does heel mean? Does that mean they're gonna show me the back of their foot? What kind of trick can a husky do with the back of their heel, man? No, 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 it's not their heel. We're not talking about the actual part of their foot. Heel is a trick that you can teach your dog that lets them know how to stay by your side, how to walk properly, and overall, it's just a really good trick to know whenever you have a dog, especially a Siberian Fluffy. We're gonna be going over all of the steps today. We're gonna be talking about all the introductory things that you need to know, especially if you're brand brand new at getting into tricks, or if you're brand new at the trick heel altogether. We're gonna guide you along and give you insights into how you can make this trick easy, how you can transition it into your life with ease, and leave that aggravation at the dough. If you own a Siberian Husky, you know they can be a very hyper breed. Their attention can be in a million different places at once, so teaching them how to heal can be a little bit tricky. In this episode, we're gonna go over some really cool stuff that's gonna teach you how to make this go by in a flash. Oh man, look at the cuteness. You guys look so stinking cute together on the sofa. Here, let me let me snap a picture. Aunt Millie's gonna want one of these. Maybe we can even put it in a Christmas card. Oh, Gila, you look so cute. What is your favorite part about a Siberian Husky? Is it their personality? Is it their floofiness? Is it their beautiful blue eyes? What is it about the Siberian Husky that you like the most? Leave it down in the comments below, dude. We want to know. Now, a lot of people ask themselves, hey, what are some of the most important tricks that a Siberian Husky should learn? Because if you're going to have a Husky, you should probably be teaching them some really important tricks. You need them to listen. It's importante. Heel is one of the most important tricks that you should be teaching a Siberian Husky. This is one of the harder tricks to learn, and it's why a lot of people don't really teach it to their dogs. It takes a lot of time and a lot of, yeah, a lot of patience. Look at Britney Spears, it's like, dude, I know, it's so hard. Heel is one of those hard things that dad keeps teaching me how to do, and ugh, I'm just frustrated, man. But as you'll see in this episode, when you use heel to your advantage, it really creates a bond between you and your dog, and not to mention, it looks fun lie as shit. So let's get into it. Let's teach you how to get your husky to heal. You guys ready? <laughs> All right, then let's get into it. Scooby da bop 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 ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo doo. All right, so let's get straight into heel and everything you need to know how to pull this trick off and look like a boss with your Siberian Husky. Now, we recommend that you know how to sit and stay. These are just two really good tricks to teach your Husky before you get into more complex tricks. And I would say that heel is one of the more complex tricks that you're gonna be teaching your dog. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they immediately go outside and they start this trick. Do yourself a favor. If you're gonna start teaching your Husky how to heal, do it inside first and put a leash and a collar on them. I know this sounds a little bit crazy, like putting a leash and a collar on your dog and walking them around inside your house, but try it. Make some space in your house and work inside before you go outside. The difference here is that dogs are distracted very easily. If you go outside, Side with your dog and you start this trick from the very beginning, you're gonna be at a disadvantage because your dog is gonna be so distracted, it's gonna be very hard for you. It's gonna be like an uphill battle to get their attention. So let's start this whole entire heel process indoors and not go outdoors like almost every single training video tells you to do. Now the basic structure of heel is that you get your dog to pick a side, right or left. I choose the left side, and what this trick does is it teaches your dog to stick to this side, always walk by you on this side, and eventually once you master heel, your dog should never walk behind you or ahead of you and always walk by your side, either with a focus or without a focus, that's always up to you. Now, what I mean by that is with a focus means your dog is always looking up at your eyes as you're walking, and without a focus just means the opposite. They're walking next to you, but they're not paying attention to your face. Anytime you see dogs walking perfectly next to their owner on a walk when they're by their side and they're always remaining 
remaining there, that dog has learned to heal. Go ahead and grab yourself a leash and a collar, put it on your dog, and make a tiny space in your home for you to either go back and forth or go around in a circle. The reason you start out with a leash is because you want to correct your dog whenever they make a mistake. Now some people use e-collars and they like to vibrate or shock their dog to make a correction, but you don't have to do that. You can use positive reinforcement and just use a collar and a leash. Anytime your dog makes a mistake, just tug on the leash a little bit to let them know, hey, you're making a mistake and I'm going to correct it. You'll see Gila make plenty of mistakes right here, especially on the leash. And you'll see me tug the leash a little bit just to correct her and let her know, hey, that's not the right move. Now, anytime she gets too ahead of me or too behind me, what we do is we correct it. We sit her down, we say heel, and we put her down next to me and set her back in the right spot. Before you do that, you can tug on the leash just to let them know, hey, you're going out of bounds, so we're gonna have to correct our position here. This is why you'll see me stop here and I'll put Gila back in the position and we'll continue from where we went on. As you're walking and doing your little route, make sure they're always staying to one side of you and focus heel is always the best way to start out. And that means you're gonna take a treat, you're gonna put it up by your face as you're walking and you're gonna try and get your husky to look at the treat and your eyes as they're walking next to you. It's not the easiest thing to do, but anytime you do get your husky or your dog's attention, go ahead and reward them as you're walking. They're gonna keep looking up at you and giving you that attention the more that they get food. So keep rewarding them every time they give you that focus. Heel can be aggravating because there's tons of mistakes to be made, but just remember anytime you make a mistake, reset your husky, say, heel, put them right next to where you're standing, and then continue your progress from there. Always use high value treats. Typically, I find that cookies and biscuits don't really work with huskies, and that meats and jerkies and cheeses are more often favored than cookies. So try them out if you're having trouble getting your husky's attention. Now, once you feel that your husky is doing really well with the leash, they're staying next to you, they're not mega hyper. I typically only use the lead with Siberian huskies that jump around and are are extremely frantic. Younger Huskies that really need to be controlled are typically the dogs that need the lead. But if you feel that you're making progress, your Husky is able to stay next to you and listen to you really well, you can go ahead and try taking the lead off and seeing what happens without a lead. You'll see now me and Gila are gonna go ahead and do this exact same thing, but we're not gonna have a lead on anymore. You'll see she makes several mistakes throughout this video, but that's okay. These are great opportunities to correct your Husky and help them learn that staying next to you is exactly what you're looking for. So anytime you feel like your Husky is giving you attention, that they're staying next to you, they're doing a really good job and you'll know. Give them treats for very small increments of progress. Trust me, every time you give them a treat, it's going to empower them, it's going to encourage them to take it a little bit farther. And you'll see Gila, she goes a little bit farther throughout this video, especially when we're off leash, she does really well. She does get ahead of herself a little bit. Typically, younger Huskies want to jump ahead, and that's something you're gonna have to work at a little bit, but practice makes perfect, and I can't stress this enough. Now, if you're having trouble getting your Siberian Husky to stay with you, here's a cool trick that I like to do, and I'll show you, I do it right here with Gila. I'll have her sit right next to me in the heel position, then we'll move forward only literally two or three feet, and I'll instantly have her sit again. Making these tiny little baby steps over and over and over, get your husky used to staying next to you. Sometimes it's just too big of a step for you to ask your husky to get up and walk next to you and stay right next to you for 10, 20, 30 feet. That could be really intimidating for a husky. So if that's where you're standing and you're having trouble, try doing these tiny little steps. Just do a couple feet, ask them to sit, and then ask them to do a couple more feet, ask them to sit, and continue that process. You might find that you'll gain a lot of progress doing this because it's a lot easier to make baby steps when you're working with a dog. Finally, another really cool exercise that I like to work with my dogs when teaching them how to heal and practicing it is I put them in the heel position and I turn around 360 degrees. I make sure that Gila stays to my side throughout the entire circle that I make and it helps her understand that staying by my side is the behavior that I'm looking for. You can go back and forth in a straight line and that'll 
will always help you out. But going in circles is a huge benefit as well because it really reinforces to your Husky, hey, we can walk the distance, but what I'm looking for is your full cooperation and standing right next to me no matter where I twist and turn. So practice circles. Circles are very important. Sometimes circles can trip up a dog. You may be walking back and forth in a straight line for weeks teaching your Husky the heel. Then you have to go out in the real world. You might have to walk in curves and circles. And that might trip your Husky up. So practice those as well. And finally, when you're done doing all of this indoors, that's when you start going outdoors and you practice there. The distractions outdoors are immense. So you have to make sure that your Husky masters this practice inside. And then when you take it outside, bring the most amazing high value treats that you can get your hands on because birds, raccoons, other people, cars, noises, insects, trees, everything is going to be your competition and keeping your Husky's attention on you. So master this trick indoors first. And I promise you, you get the 60 formula word that your doggo will be a boss at this in no time. Alrighty, you guys did such a good job today teaching everybody how to heal. Can I get a high five, dude? Heck yeah. Can I get a high five? All right. That's gonna be it from us today. If you guys had a blast and this video helped you out a lot, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you stay up to date and get all the information and knowledge that you need to know when it comes to raising, training, and living with Siberian Huscaroni pizzas. Dude, we had an absolute blast, but until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? <laughs> yep, you guessed it, whatever we make. Peace! Scooby da ba 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 ba